Hello, country people. Uh, more revelations on the death of Usina. She wants to a top Igbo gospel music. Kruna uh, is out. And one of the latest reports says she was hit on the chest. Uh, she didn't die of throat cancer as she's been peddled. This one was coming from the elder sister of the deceased. According to a report, they say there were clusters of blood on her chest as a result of kicking from her husband, Peter Wachuku. Uh, Mr. Fevo Mede said um, Osinachi received inhuman treatments from her husband before her untimely death. And were asked by Vanguard Metro if it was cancer that, that killed her. Here was her reply. She, she did not die of cancer. Uh, the, Husband, Mr. Wachuku, hit her with his leg on the chest. All this while, she he has been beating her, but my sister hides all that she was passing through from us. Before the incident leading to her death, we have asked her to leave the marriage, not as in divorce, but just a separation. She always maintained she's against divorce. We told her separation is not a sin, but just for her to stay alive and take care of her children. Uh, she will always tell us to relax that uh, the man, that devil, uh, will change. While he kicked her and she fell, he took her to the hospital and didn't notify any of us. It was a friend who lives in Ebony State that called her twin sister, Osinachi, has a twin sister. Yeah, she has a twin sister. So she called her twin sister and asked her if Osnachi had told her Peter hit her on the chest. The twin sister said no. So it was the hitting on the chest that killed her. And the doctor who checked her told her brother uh, there were clusters of blood on her chest. Unfortunately, um, Peter didn't tell the doctor he kicked her because the doctor could have known exactly what to do. And she said, she further said, uh, each time we spoke with her, she pleaded for peace and assured things would be fine and we should be calm. When asked where her sister was residing and how many sh children she had and where is her husband now, that's um, when Osh Osinashi's sister, Ella's sister, was asked, she said, my late sister Osinachi was living in Abuja uh, with her husband and four children, three boys and a girl. My younger brother who has gone to see the children said Wachuku was not arrested as at the time of the report. He said he is in his house in Abuja. When my brother got there, the children were so happy to see him and told him they want to come and see their grandmother who is my mother. Now the next question, I said, where are the children presently? She replied, the children are with their father. My brother has gone to Abuja to see the children, but I told him not to go alone because the man is a beast. Now the next question said, what? So what is the husband saying now? She replied, the husband is just boasting. And before now, she told the twin sister that he was going to separate her and her sister who was his wife. He doesn't allow us to come near Osinachi. And since Osinachi got married to him, uh, she has never visited our village, Isochi, in Abia State. She only visited when our father died in 2017. And uh, she even slapped him that day while she, she told him not to overspeed. So our little sister, uh, the second to the last born, um, narrated what happened to us. When my sister wanted to act, Osinachi started begging and told her to calm down. Can you imagine? Osnachi had a very soft heart. Even her twin sister is more courageous. While her twin sister visited her in the hospital, Peter did not allow her to stay, despite Osnachi's plea. Once you ordered her out of the hospital, Osnachi had to beg her to leave since he was furious. Now, when asked, what position are you in the family and how many are you, then uh, that day she replied. He said, I am the first daughter of the family and we are six girls and a boy that met us seven children uh, out of our parents. The boy is fourth and he's 30 years of age now. That's 30 years old. When asked, where is Peter from and what does he do? She said, she, he's from Newe in Anambra State. He doesn't have any non-job to me. 
while requesting for access to my sister's YouTube channel of which she objected. He spat on her saying he has no money left in his account. Now the next question to her, he said, we learned he is your sister's manager. And she replied, yes, he acts like one. He receives all the money into his account when my sister is booked for a program. He even does the negotiations. What a manager. <laughs> Sincerely, what a manager. He said, my sister is left with nothing because he receives all the payments. Imagine her status in the gospel music world and she has nothing left for herself. The whole money is diverted, goes to the husband account. He said, he feels we have none to challenge him as our first son was late even before our daddy died in uh, 2017. He believes our other brother cannot challenge him. He feels nobody can speak for us. He once told us, if Osinashi didn't come back alive, she will come back dead. Now the next question to her, I said, how did you get information about your sister's death? She replied, he didn't tell us. We heard from other people that she was dead. It was one of her friends she contacted to cook jollof rice that called Osinashi's twin sister to ask her if she had anything. She said while she got to the hospital, she didn't see Osinashi on her bed. The man did not tell us. Then when we put a call across him, he didn't pick it up until around 8 p.m. when he started calling our brother. And meanwhile, we were told she died in the afternoon and we got the news from people around 5 p.m. So around 8 p.m., Wachukuden called my brother that he has never allowed to come near him. He casually told him his wife was dead, that he should come. My brother then asked if it was known that he wants him to come to his house. Wanshiku also called her mother to tell her his wife, who was her daughter, was late. My mother told him he has finally fulfilled his promise of killing her. He then switched off his phone. Now, when asked, what is your mother saying now? She replied, she only wants to see her grandchildren because they have been longing to see her but restrained by their father each time. The children doesn't know their maternal home, which they only visited upon my father's death. That was in 2017. said, even while my sister visits Enugu, where we live for a program, he, her flight was always booked back the same day for Abuja. He doesn't allow her to come to our house in Enugu. My mother did not do Omugwa, that is uh, to take care of her any of Osinachi's children when they were born, as it as is known with um, Igbo tradition and some other traditions. In fact, when Osinachi had her second child, she called me to tell me the devil wants to kill her. I went there to bring her home, but Wachuku came with some people to plead and was forgiven. After that incident, she hardly ever complained, not because things were right. Perhaps he did something to her to make her always keep calm. I wouldn't inform us her relatives um, despite for that serious treatment but she spoke with outsiders she complained to outsiders now when asked how did Osinashi meet Mwachuku that's her husband the brutal man as she said it was when uh, they went for the program Mwachuku loved how she ministered in song and fell in love with her approached her and Anyway, viewers, like I earlier said, uh, this was an account from her sister as reported by Vanguard Metro. Uh, there are some other reports. There are many reports because everybody is coming out with what they have had or experienced along the way. And based on letters about we had the man has been arrested, we don't know. Now, I will share another report from the late gospel singer, Osinashi Wachuku's uh, producer, Sonny P., and there are revelations he has to make that he has shared and it's circulating it's on the social media. Um, he said, so much to say about this unfortunate situation, but this space is not the right place. He said, when you make money and your husband collects all the money and leave you penniless. Wow. He said, when your husband brings you to the studio, gets angry and leave you in the studio without even transportation to return home. 
He went further. I said, I have personally told this woman to leave this marriage, but she kept making excuses for the monster. The last song we recorded, this was our chat below. We were recording a song that she doesn't want her husband to know. The last time I told her to leave the marriage, she asked me to help her talk to her pastor, which was difficult for me because I don't have a relationship with him. Before you say why, didn't we say it early? You can't help a person who is not ready to be helped. The last time I spoke about the husband on Facebook here, he went on his wall and made a lot of senseless statements. Mrs. Osina Chimwachuku is an example of a typical Nigerian woman who always feels it's their responsibility to make a marriage work, even when their life is at risk. May God rest her soul. Dear women, learn to live when the marriages get abusive, physically, emotionally, and otherwise. Uh, that was coming from the man, um, the the producer in the studio uh, in case you don't know what is producer people who record you in the music studio where you get recorded uh, that was what he said you know if you are close to Sinachi you would have at least sense certain things are wrong we are wrong uh, because there is a way these things get to come out they um, this the the monster would have escorted her to the studio but leaving her with her money everything you left her penniless everything you know well i'm still wondering how somebody will remain in such a relationship that is hurtful brutal you know we've had several things the other uh, somebody said she comes to choir rehearsal with swollen face sometime you see you you know you will sense she has been maltreated but she will come and you still remain in it. What does it mean to say for better and for worse? Does it mean even if your life is a threat, you remain there? I can't understand. I don't believe I will see fire and jump into it. No, I will run away. After all, like Pastor Sarah said, there's no marriage in heaven. As in, like, the physical one we have here so and there is um no reward for marriage here or like um you will have a reward in heaven because you're married here no they're married if they can stay well they will there is no reward for marriage as an oh we have a reward in heaven because we're married here no so I don't know why people will stay in something that is hurtful. Anyway, viewers, I will leave you to add your comment on this. Tell us what you think. I feel so bad. And this is where we draw the curtain on the show now. I am Azuka Uzo OJ. Bye for now.